Today I'm going to show you how to score guitar techniques using MuseScore. So we're going to use the same riff that we started with in the double stop lesson, and today I'm going to show you how to score a slide and a double stop onto the staff. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set aside some rest space at the beginning of this first measure because we have a pickup measure. So I'm going to choose rest, and I'm going to put a dotted half rest, which is this, and I'm going to put that rest right here. Now I just have a quarter note rest left to play with. Now I don't want to even uh, use a quarter note. I'm just going to put another eighth note rest there. Sorry, eighth note rest there. And now I, at, the, at the cursor, I'm going to put in a quarter note. Or sorry, at the cursor, I'm going to put in an eighth note. And I'm going to put that in. I'm going to do work down here on the tab. I'm putting in an eighth note. You can see that the little pencil's lit up, which is the input and or input mode. I'm in input mode. I'm going to click on the G string and type in a two. Now I'm going to go over to I'm going to the G string in the next measure and I'm going to put in a four. Okay. Now I'm going to go out of input mode, select that first note, and I'm going to go over here into arpeggios and glissandos. I'm going into glissandos. I'm going to do straight glissando. So I'm going over here, and there it is. You just drag it on, which I just did, and it automatically figures out which of the two notes, uh, which notes to connect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in those two double stops at the beginning. So the two double stops are going to be on the third fret, and the double stops I'm using are eighth note double stops. So I'm just going to go into the eighth note, into the input mode, I'm going to go over here on the B string and 3, and then I'm going to click on the E string, and then I'm going to do the same thing a second time. Okay, so there's my slide in, and there's my two double stops. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play that back so you can hear how that sounds, and you'll hear that that matches the material that we covered in our double stops lesson. Uh, come back and visit me again soon, and we'll cover more techniques and how to tab more techniques in MuseScore. It'll do just about everything that you need.